feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Good morning everybody and welcome to another video. Thank you very much for clicking on it. Really do appreciate it. Hope you're all doing well and having a great day. And Merry Christmas everyone. If you celebrate Christmas, it is Christmas today, well Christmas Eve, and uh, that's when it's celebrated here in Finland, not on the 25th. Yeah, it takes a little bit of getting used to, to be honest, as a guy from the UK who celebrate on 25th Christmas Day, but here we celebrate Christmas pretty much on the 24th. Anyway, so it's Christmas time. I don't actually really celebrate Christmas that much. Uh, I enjoy the days, the extra days off, of course, and spend some time with family and stuff, but yeah. I'm not a Grinch, it's just, I just celebrate every single day of life. Uh, and seeing as I'm not religious, ready as well, so. But we're gonna spend some time outdoors, and we've come to the trails, which are just so close to my house, and it's so nice to be out here. But uh, one thing though, it's like super scary because there's no snow, no ice, and around normally this time of year, it's pretty cold. And if you can see, I'm wearing shorts. Maybe you're wondering why I'm not celebrating Christmas other than what I've just said. Maybe you're not, and you're just gonna have to bear with me for 30 seconds. But I guess it's maybe to do with, you know, I don't buy into all this consumerism and stuff. And it's not just Christmas day, it's like Valentine's day or I don't know, Father's day and all these sort of things. They, they're made up things to make you go and buy stuff for people and celebrate and meet up with people when I just try and do that on a natural occurrence and you know celebrate every day as I said but also go and see family see loved ones people you care about or people who need help and yeah just try and practice that in an everyday life rather than being dictated by by kind of consumerism and a marketing campaign but in saying that you know like I do see that they're beautiful things and they're good things and I've got nothing against people celebrating it because it is a nice time of the time of the year or the moment or the purpose behind these sort of things you know the true origin they're beautiful things you know Valentine's Day tell the person that you love them or you know, get in contact with the person that you want. I was always that person who never got any Valentine's cards. So, Valentine's cards, you can send them pretty soon to me. I actually don't, because, you know, what I just said. Yeah, um, so first run out in them, uh, I bought them a few weeks back, but obviously with things with like, you know, resting and stuff and for the knee, and it's not been so ideal. But first run out on the trails in them, so uh, obviously there'll be a review to come, but I won't actually do a review until like the first, I don't know, whatever, 100 kilometers or something, I don't know, 70 kilometers. But I will give like a few little things of what how I feel like it's uh, from the first run, just later on in the video.
how I got some of them shots. Well, I got this small tripod underneath this and I kind of wrap it around a stick that I find lying on the floor. And Hey presto, you get some really good shots. Quick, easy hack. And you don't have to carry around like big selfie sticks and stuff. By the way, this morning's run is super nice and easy on the trails. And it's my first time on the trails in quite a while. And oh boy, I'm so happy about it. It's such a nice little run. I'm only gonna do like half an hour or something. But, ah, oh, this is pure ecstasy. Uh, whatever you wanna call it. It's just like, absolutely, Amazing, wonderful. I'm just so happy to be out here. Auga! Right, for those of you who are interested in like the first thoughts on the Speed Goat 4s, well, you know, I've only done like 45 minutes in them. And uh, first things I can sort of see is that the, the sole, the EVA, is a little bit less squishy. But actually I'm finding that quite a good thing because I'm trying to transition into having a bit of a variety in my shoes of like from super soft to firmer so that my, my feet are working more, which obviously goes up for your body. Other thing is like the tongue is uh, actually cut at an angle. At first, when I first tried it on and walked like and did the first kilometer, I thought it was like super annoying actually didn't bother me and it was actually super comfortable because it's so thin uh, other things well you know not really much it's only first 45 minutes but just wanted to give you like a real kind of quick insight right so the run is done it's about 50 minutes actually and only like six kilometers on the trails and it was super nice but uh gonna get back home and have a nice big smoothie as per usual but I do want to say I do appreciate you watching this video and I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. hope it's brought some value to you. Let me know down in the comments if you want to know anything about what I'm wearing or what I do or anything. I'm more than happy to get back to you or even make another video about it. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please hit it. I know everyone always asks, but it really does help quite a lot uh, with this YouTube uh, algorithm analytics and everything. So, uh, yeah, I would really appreciate it. And drop a like, why not, if you enjoyed it. If you don't, if you didn't enjoy it equally, please hit thumbs down because, you know, it shows me you're enjoying these videos or not. Wishing you all a good Christmas time, holiday time, wherever you are in this world. I know we've got some people in the US, Finland, UK, maybe even Malaysia, I think. So it's pretty cool. And uh, from the bottom of my heart, I really do appreciate all your support. It means a lot, more than you know, so peace out. A little bit of bonus footage for those of you who stayed, but uh, now the shoes are like super, well not super, but they're dirty. And uh, I remember being a teenager and kind of, you know, always wanted your shoes to be like brand new and everything. And you'd go to such an effort to keep them clean and everything. Now actually I'm the inverse and I want my shoes to be dirty because, well not dirty, like disgustingly dirty, but you know, have mud on them and stuff because it shows that you've been using them. Not for other people, but for myself. It, if I just keep stuff in pristine state, then, well, I'm not using it. So that's uh, something I just wanted to sort of say. Thanks a lot, see you. And that rip.